go. Brigitte Papabrock. She gave me some pretty good leads. Tell me. Baron Kimbold hired some thugs to murder the royal bastards. Son of a bitch. Foltas never trusted him. Turns out he was right not to. It was Count Merivale who kidnapped Anais. He wanted to hand both children over to the Nilfgaardians, but Busi was killed. Damn it all. Radovid is one thing, but Nilfgaard? When I get my hands on Maravel, You won't. I delivered the evidence against both of them to Natalis, but the constable decided to ask Kimbold for help and arrested Maravel. Wise. There will come a time for Kimbold as well, but Maravel needed to be removed immediately. A traitor is a traitor. They should take off his head. Can we go? Let's do this. Deathmold is a dead man. I'm guessing you don't have a plan. In fact, I do. We need to kill Deathmold and rescue the royal child. You never did like playing it by ear. I learned from the best. See that? Deathmold's put up that magic barrier again. Apparently not a single sound seeps through. I dread to think what he's doing inside. Why are you here? We have business with Deathmold. The sorcerer is busy! No one's to disturb him. Recognize me? Should we? Of course you should, unless you don't care about being promoted. <laughs> Who are you? Now! <laughs> This is my banquet. I don't want any unwanted guests. Quickly, up top! Help me up! The low road's yours. I'll take the walls. Close that cursed gate! Die now! Hang on, I've nearly unblocked it. Titan! Titan! Defend the passage! Unit 2! I killed Block the passage! He'll pay dearly! Ready, Geralt! Who are you up here, here? You taunts? You're dead meat! Send for reinforcements! Block that swiving passage! I pull your legs out of your arms! Men your positions, you horse sons! Close ranks! I've got a crossbow, Garrett. Leave them to me! Close ranks! Hold your positions! Got a step backwards! The king! For Cadwin! I pull your legs out of your arse! Attack! At them!
doing well, Geralt! Burning. For hands out. out! Get him! Walls clear. I'm coming over to you. I'll make mince meat of your arse. Your prayers! Down. What's he doing in there? Sounds like he's awfully busy. There is one crime that all civilizations consider irredeemable and unforgivable. Regicide. A transgression of laws both human and divine. A blow to the vital organs of society. That is why those in power create bloody havoc and wallow in it. They are never punished. Not subject to moral judgments, they stand above the law. Henselt's blood now stains Roach's hands and mine. I could have stopped him, but I didn't want to. Now Henselt is a cold corpse, and the blue stripes in the world beyond are laughing. Did you see Radovid's retinue? I swear the snot-nosed lad thinks he's king of the world. He should never have shown up here after the recent events in Redania. Honestly, if he grows to be another Vizimir, I hope he ends up like the first. And those robes of his, did you see? Alright, there's time for one more. Pants off. You've broken my arm! You've broken my arm! Do you know it's worth, you son of a bitch? 
Now it's worth shit like the rest of you. What do you want? I'll give you anything. You can't give back what you took from me. Cutting off your balls and slitting your throat will have to do. No! <laughs> Reap what you sow. Time to free Fortress daughter. Have mercy! He forced me! I am Vernon Roach of Temeria. This is Witcher Geralt. She's terrified. If Deathmold touches her, I'll kill the son of a bitch all over again. What'll you do with the child, Vernon? I made an arrangement with Radovid, and Vernon Roach always keeps to his word. Kings only keep their promises when it suits them. We saw him together. You heard what he said. You didn't have Anais then. Now you do. Take a minute, consider your options. I'm a soldier, not a diplomat. Well, you need to start thinking like a diplomat. You're about to decide Tamaria's future. What else could you do? Nothing. I either break my pledge to Radovid or honor it. Suppose you break it. I'll make another enemy. Enemies are something you can handle, you said so yourself. The Temerian delegation is in Loch Muin. Maybe we should consider handing the child over to them. John Natalis. Good soldier, poor politician. Natalis may not be the most polished diplomat, but both your grandmothers tilled the same soil. Your grandfathers fought side by side. By taking the child to John Natalis, I'll spark a civil war. The barons won't acknowledge her right to the throne until they feel a boot on their neck. I don't claim giving her to the Temerians will solve all your problems. But freedom's precious, Vernon. One of those things you don't appreciate until it's gone. Considered what they'll say in Temeria when they hear Vernon Roach handed their crown princess to the head of a foreign state? If Radovid keeps to his word, they just might name a holiday after me. Careful, Vernon. It's a slippery slope. You could easily be branded a traitor, and brands are tough to scrub off. I guess you're right. Dishonored I'll be no one. Not in Temeria, not anywhere else. Natalis it is. Come, child. I'll take you to a safe place. Hmm. Looks like someone's provided an escort. In the name of King Radovid, we demand that you hand over the child of Louisa Lavalette. We're headed elsewhere. Not my concern. My orders are clear. We are not Radovid's subjects. His orders don't apply to us. If you won't come peacefully... Look around before you threaten us again, you fool. So, to the Temerian camp? We've lost a lot of time. The talks have probably begun. 
Come, child. At least that scumbag is not one of the living. Only I know who killed Henselt. Death mold's different. Remember, he had many powerful friends. As head of the special forces, I've always had powerful foes. Somehow, I managed to deal with them. You never know how the Temerians will receive Anais. She's of royal blood. That should be enough. Many in Temeria believe the bloodline ended with Foltest. What are you trying to tell me? That some of your countrymen may already see themselves as the founders of a new dynasty. If you want to find me, I'll be at the talks. See you, Vernon.